internally now we're kind of affectionately being called the world's largest startup. So 100,000 employees across 78 uh, countries around the world is kind of a, a nice thing to be part of. That startup field, even though it's a very large company, um, gives us the ability to think a little bit more longer term about our business as well as sustainability. So it's a, a great time uh, to be at the company. Um, and so I wanted to start a little, talk a little bit about, before I get into talking about closed loop, which is, is a, a big topic of the discussion today about sustainability at Dell. And last year we rolled out our 2020 Legacy of Good Plan, which was our long-term framework of sustainability uh, for our business and for our customers out to 2020. And as part of that plan, we established 21 uh, goals across the business from environment, communities, and people. And, and really kind of a step back and, and, and look forward to uh, sustainability trends as well as business and customer trends. And uh, the legacy of good plan is really a reflection of that. Two, two goals to mention within that plan that are really relevant here is by 2020, we have a goal to uh, recover and recycle 2 billion pounds of waste electronics. And we also have a goal to use uh, at least 50 million pounds of post-consumer recycled product, uh, plastics in our products. Um, and one of the steps towards that is our closed loop program that I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about. So um, we've heard a little bit already this morning about the e-waste challenge globally. I think we all recognize this is a significant challenge both for um, our customers, our industry, and society. Um, and, and one of the things that we have done to address that is try to make electronics recycling as, as convenient and easy for our customers. And, and one of the ways that we do that is through a program that we rolled out several years ago called Reconnect. We partnered with Goodwill Industries here in the U.S. and Canada, 3,500 Goodwill locations across the country. Um, you can conveniently uh, take your old uh, IT or electronic assets to any Goodwill store and drop them off free of charge. Um, not just our brand, but any brand of electronics. And so that, that really is, uh, we, we think this is really an industry-leading uh, approach to um, making recycling as, as convenient as possible. We also have um, commercial recycling programs available for our, our large institutional and, and commercial customers as well. So it's a combination of both. Uh, the, this program is really a commercial facing program. We also have commercial programs uh, in place as well. And so as part of this, those products are either resold, refurbished. So there's, if, if the product, if the products uh, or of an age or, or a status where they could be resold and refurbished. And so that's certainly an economic value to, um, to Goodwill to, as well as our customers. But there are products that come through this cycle, as you can imagine. If you look inside our, my closet at home or my garage, you've got a, you might have a pile of old stuff sitting there um, that you haven't touched in years. And so those products that can't be resold or refurbished basically go through this process and into our recycling network. And so we've partnered with Goodwill as well as our downstream um, recyclers to, to manage that equipment and, and the goal here certainly for us is to keep all this material out of landfill so what can we do if you look at electronics um, there's some estimates that by 2020 about a billion PCs will be discarded between now and 2020 there's a lot of value in those products um, both from a resale refurbishment perspective but also just inherently the metals plastics and materials in those products have, have significant value and so what can we do to maximize that value and that's really where what we announced, and Doug mentioned about a month ago, we announced a closed loop recycling process for plastics where um, we brought our kind of design know-how and supply chain expertise, partnering with Goodwill on the take back recycling part, and then also worked with um, a company called Wistron, who is also one of our uh, ODM recyclers and, and tapped into their design and supply chain expertise. Wistron recently also formed a recycling business as well as a plastics recycling operation where they're able to um, take back, kind of extract the plastics out of that material that's coming into Goodwill and recycle it into new, new products for Dell. And so we, we announced this a month ago and introduced that closed loop solution in our um, Optiplex 3030 all-in-one. So think of a kind of a desktop all-in-one um, PC. And this is the first product that we, that we introduced with this that actually started shipping um, just several months ago. And on top of that, that process, we also worked with UL Environment to certify the, the upfront recycling material that's coming into this process all the way through those steps of the supply chain to assure that 
this was truly close of material from the upfront process all the way through um, the contra contract manufacturers that are actually molding the parts that go into this um, Optiplex product. So essentially, if you see it on the screen here, the entire back cover and the stand of that product is made out of closed loop uh, recycled content plastic. So first product for us to announce this, um, it was actually announced at the Fortune Brainstorm Green conference a month ago, and I think the reception has been very positive for a number of reasons, most notably, I, in my opinion, I think having your CEO standing up and announcing and talking about it, these initiatives certainly helps get the word out. Um, and, and also, we've, we've, we've been contacted uh, in the past several weeks, number of, group, number of groups about, wow, this is impressive, you know, well, what's next? And so we do have plans to expand this out, um, both within our future products as well as I think this may become longer term in our industry, at least, you're going to see more scalable solutions around this. I know Mike's going to talk a bit about this. He's been doing this a long time. And so we really see this um, as an evolution uh, for us, but also for our industry. I think you'll see more and more uh, closed loop recycling happening. Again, a billion PCs coming into the market is discarded by 2020. How do we most effectively um, recover, recycle, and tap into those resources. The other thing to mention is this is this solutions at cost parity are better to the traditional recycled plastics that we're using. So there's business value um, in this process as well. So I'll close with just a kind of a, a couple of um, factoids here. Um, right now, today, about 13% um, of all the plastics that are used across Dell contain some form of recycled content plastics. 13% um, may so sound like a small number. Um, at our scale, that's a very big number. Six years ago, that number was zero. So in six years, we feel like we've made um, pretty significant progress of starting from zero um, and finding um, you know, sources of recycled content plastics to, to ramp that up and, and now uh, look at a closed loop solution. So we think that number will continue to grow as we find um, additional scalable solutions around closed loop materials. And, and that that volume re represents about enough to fill about a, th a thousand ocean shipment containers and reduce about 10 million uh, kilogram kilograms of CO2 emissions, which is about the equivalent of removing about a thousand cars off the road. Again, um, trying to put this in terms of the the, um, the benefits, both from a, a, a waste perspective, a carbon perspective, um, and and hopefully, as I said, we expect that this is this is kind of. Uh, a launch point that we can then scale this um, uh, broader across our, our company as well as across, across the industry. So um, I'll close with that and um, thanks.